We always have lots of questions about stage makeup for our dancers at recital time. The goal of using makeup on our dancers is to define and brighten their facial features under the stage lights. Here are Ballet Center of Houston moms and students demonstrating some of our young ballerina makeup techniques. For our young dancers, we recommend keeping things simple, either no foundation or a powder foundation to reduce the shine of the face under the lights. Eye makeup is used to make the eyes appear bigger and visible from stage. We use a palette of light cream and dark brown eyeshadow, eyeliner or pencil, and a white pencil. Use light eyeshadow color on eyelid and under eyebrow. Use the dark brown in the eye socket crease or just above the crease. In this example, to apply the dark brown shadow, we use the technique of imagining a triangle on the edge of the eye. This method is very helpful when later applying the eyeliner or pencil. Notice how she uses the crease line and the lid line and extends to a point, but not past the end of the eyebrow. The corner can then be filled in with brown as well. Be careful not to darken the whole lid area. In this next example, the dark brown shadow is applied to the eye socket crease. This is after a light color was applied just under the brow. A lighter shadow is then applied to the lid. To finish, go back and darken the brown in and just above the crease. Eyeliner is the scariest part for most of our moms. Use a thin eyeliner pencil, liquid eyeliner, gel or felt tip eyeliner. Whatever you are most comfortable using is probably your best option. A good tip is to run the eyeliner or pencil over your hand before trying to apply it. Start at the midpoint on the lid and line the upper eyelid. Extend the line out past the eye, but not further than the brow. If you've used the triangle technique with your shadow, follow that line. Next, take your white pencil or white eyeshadow and apply it to the outer and inner corners of the eye. White can also be used just under the lashes on the lower lid to open the eye. Next, apply the lower line. Start at the midpoint and work out. Follow parallel to the upper line. Do not cross the upper line. Have some makeup remover on hand with a cotton swab to clean up your lines. A trick for making the eye look bigger is to drop the lower line below the actual eye line. This could also make it easier on little ones to avoid poking them in the eye. Notice the difference between this dancer's two eyes from a distance. Apply pink blush to the cheekbone to give the face some definition. Your application should be heavier than usual. For dancers with very blonde hair, apply blush along the hairline so that the face can be distinguished from the hairline. A tip for those with darker skin tones is to use a dot of red lipstick and work into the face along the cheekbone instead of using a powder blush. For the lips, we require Revlon Color Stay Overtime Lip Stain in the Forever Scarlet color. Line and fill in the lips. Let dry for a minute, then apply the clear gloss. The lip stain will stay until removed. Use the clear gloss to add moisture to the lips if leaving on for a long time. Remember that this makeup is meant to look great from the stage, not for close-up viewing. For great after-the-show pictures, bring your makeup remover, like the Clinique product shown, and a cotton ball, and erase some of the more dramatic makeup. Thanks for watching. Visit our website or like us on Facebook.